Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones and friends and workmates and family members as well. If you have questions about prescription drugs, medications, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, questions about the longevity products, health conditions, skin care, skin care ingredients, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, our number is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and pull down on the shopping cart all the all the Longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Beyond Organic products are all up at brightsideben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, earn some thank you checks as well, help change people's lives, help change your life as well. Get your products at the wholesale price, make some money while you're at it, and uh, folks can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470. Uh, that's uh, the Brightside Ben phone team phone number. Or you can also click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com brightsideben.com. For you guys who are interested in joining me and my friend Dixie on our weekly phone calls, we do, uh, we do weekly phone calls every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We cover a different health subject, and we try to incorporate the longevity products into the discussion as well. You can direct your clients or customers or potential customers to the phone call. 605-562-3140 is the number. It's every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We did beta-glucan last Sunday. And I think we're, gonna, we're going to get into some Ebola stuff this coming Sunday. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ebola this morning, too. The dial-in number every Sunday is 605, Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Sunday, 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND, 444-973-POUND. Okay, yesterday we left off talking about our antiviral nutritional strategies, which is a slight digression from our discussion on prostaglandins. We've been talking about prostaglandins now for a few weeks. Prostaglandins are those miraculous, instantaneously acting chemicals that make things happen in the body. Pretty much all degenerative diseases, all inflammatory diseases, all immune issues have some kind of prostaglandin connection. Prostaglandin deficiencies are not unheard of. They're not uncommon. And they are associated with lots of health issues. I say slight digression because there's an important connection between prostaglandins in the immune system and the immune response and the body's ability to protect itself from viruses. In any case, the drumbeat about Ebola seems to be getting louder and louder and louder. No surprise there. 
That's the way this, these things work. First, uh, the, the, ma- the media, the mainstream media will give you a little, a little mention here and there, and then it gets bigger. The drumbeat gets louder and louder and louder. Now we got breaking news. Connecticut governor declares a state of emergency due to Ebola. The state of Connecticut has become, this is from uh, CNN, the state, of Camona, uh, the state of Connecticut has become the first to declare a state of public health emergency over the possibility of an Ebola virus outbreak in the United States. How many... How many victims of Ebola uh, are, live in Connecticut? How much Ebola is in Connecticut? Nothing. There's no Ebola in Connecticut. This is just a more government meddling, more interference. There's no, nobody has Ebola in Connecticut. Nobody in the entire country, with the exception of a nurse and possibly her boyfriend in Texas, has contracted Ebola in the United States. What is going on, people? This is craziness. Ebola is a weak virus. I said it before. I'll say it again. I said yesterday. Ebola is a weak virus. This is craziness. We don't have to buy into this nonsense. And we don't need governments or their lapdog errand boys of the medical model or the medical mafia interfering in our lives to, quote, protect us. Keeping viruses and bacteria and infections out of the body is not the job of the government. It's not the job of your doctor. It's not the job of anybody. It's our job. And all we have to do is support this divine mechanism that we call the immune system, this divine mechanism that we all possess, that we all own, that has been designed divinely or by evolution, however you want to look at it, designed to withstand assaults from pathogens, microbes, bacteria, and viruses. What we need to be figuring out is, number one, how to build the immune system, how to strengthen it, and number two, how not to suppress it. In fact, how not to suppress it is probably the most important thing we could do if we're worried about any virus, not just Ebola, herpes, and shingles, and the flu virus, and hepatitis C. Why do you think there's these drugs out that cost $1,000 a pill to deal with hepatitis C? It's because we don't understand how to maximize and how to optimize the, the, the unbelievably, unbelievably, massively incredible system in the body that's called the immune system. So what do we do? How do you build the immune system? Well, for, from, a physical, from a physical perspective, keep in mind there's mental strategies, emotional strategies, and yes, spiritual strategies as well to maintaining health and to building a strong immune system. In a way, the immune system is kind of spiritual when you think about it. The immune system is the is the, uh, the, the way we detect the enemy, the not-self. It's the distinction between self and not-self, or it creates a, a boundary between self and not-self. And in a way, the immune system or immune problems are some kind of breakdown in the distinction between who we are and who, what is outside of our bodies. And then from a mental perspective and an emotional perspective, every time we think a crappy thought, our immune system becomes suppressed. This is not some kind of new age gobbledygook. When we think a crappy thought, our cortisol levels go up, our stress hormone levels go up, stress hormone shuts down the immune system. Cortisol acts to suppress immunity. That's why you use a hydrocortisone cream if you have an immune reaction. That's why they give you prednisone if you have an immune disease. It suppresses the immune system. Prednisone is a pharmacological version of cortisol, the body's natural stress hormones. The stress system, the, the uh, body's adrenal stress system, which is, which is uh, uh, represented by the stress hormone cortisol, largely, shuts down immunity. So relaxing, not thinking lousy thoughts, not feeling lousy feelings, the whole mental and emotional aspects of health have to be addressed and have to be recognized if we're going to build or keep our immune system from being suppressed and maintain, maintain a strong immune system that can maintain this barrier between self and not self. From a physical perspective, breathing, keeping sugar intake low. In fact, keeping sugar intake low is probably the single most important strategy we can use, not just for building the immune system, but for overall health, for longevity, for any kind of uh, reducing any kind of uh, physical symptoms of distress, keeping sugar intake down. And oatmeal is sugar, and cereal is sugar, and bagels are sugar, and oranges and apples and watermelon is sugar, and fruit juice is sugar, and desserts and cakes and pasta and all those kinds of foods are sugar. Keeping sugar intake low is job number one to strengthen the immune system. Why doesn't the, uh, the governor of Connecticut, I don't hear him mention anything about sugar. I hear him talking about quarantining. I hear him talking about, uh, what does it say here? He will how, uh, he, uh, he's going to give state health officials the authority necessary to 
prevent any potential transmission of the Ebola virus within the state of Connecticut. In other words, the authority to quarantine and isolate people who he believes reasonably have been exposed to the Ebola virus. All right, I'm Farmer Suspend. We're coming back with more good health information. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're in Olean, New York, or in the area, Buffalo, New York area, I'll be doing a talk for my friend Jonathan Smith this Tuesday, a week from today, uh, October the 21st, 7 p.m., at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street. Uh, give Jonathan a call if you're interested in checking it out to RSVP. His number is 646-258-0148, 646-258-0148. And again, that's at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 State Street in Olean, New York. Zip is 14760 if you're interested in uh, map questing that. And it is uh, next Tuesday, October the 21st for my buddy Jonathan in Olean, New York. Hope to see you out there. Okay, our number today is 855-660-4261. Got a couple lines open for you talking Ebola. If you caught uh, the news, if you if you watched the news this morning, you know that, that the governor of Connecticut has declared a state of emergency in the state of Connecticut about uh, concerning Ebola. Never mind that nobody in Connecticut has Ebola, but it gives, gives the governor a chance to quarantine people and isolate people whom he, quote, reasonably, be- reasonably believes have been exposed to the Ebola virus. We really care about Ebola or antiviral, uh, antiviral protection if our government really cares. They would be giving everybody zinc, and everybody would have magnesium, and we'd all have nutritional supplements, and we'd all have, uh, we would all learn how to relax a little bit, or we would encourage learning how to relax a little bit to activate the immune system. Do you guys know that the immune system is activated under conditions of relaxation? Yes. That's because when we're under survival threat, when the body's under survival threat, the last thing the body cares about is protecting protection from viruses. Viral protection, bacterial protection requires activation of the relaxation nervous system, the relaxation response. So lightening up, relaxing, taking hot baths, massages, deep breathing, therapeutic touch. These are wonderful antiviral immune boosting strategies as of course is nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies. Laying off sugar is job number one. Using Uh, using nutritional supplements, using the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You can't have a strong immune system if you don't have the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients in your body. Dr. Wallach and Longevity have made it so easy to get the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients in your body if you're serious about antiviral protection, if you're serious about building the immune system. Get on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Make sure you're using the Ultimate EFAs to help build prostaglandins. Make sure you're getting zinc, which is stupendously important for building the immune system, 50 milligrams a day. Make sure you're using your Ultimate Selenium, stupendously antiviral, maybe the single most antiviral nutrient of all along with zinc and along with vitamin C. And oh, by the way, make sure you're using vitamin C and it can be ascorbic acid. It doesn't have to be food-based vitamin C for building your immune system. We talked about this yesterday. I'm still getting letters, by the way, from people who want me to address this nonsense that's being spewed out. I don't know who who is responsible for this craziness that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Ascorbic acid has all of the properties that you want from a vitamin. It is vitamin C. It's not food vitamin C, which is, of course, as we've said so many times, superior, but it's still, it's still vitamin C in terms of its effect in the body. And then, in addition to the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, you can use miscellaneous antiviral nutritional type substances if you're interested in protecting yourself from Ebola or herpes or shingles or flu or hepatitis or any other viruses. It's called a polysaccharide, many sugar, long sugar, long chain of sugar molecules. Something very interesting happens in the body when it interfaces with polysaccharides from fruits and vegetables and herbs. Polysaccharides, macro polychemicals, long, big chemicals made up of smaller sugar units are stupendously important for stimulating and strengthening the immune system. And luckily, they're found throughout nature. They're found throughout the plant kingdom. Our antiviral legacy is found in plants. It's found in herbs. It's found in fruits and vegetables. Throughout history, plants have represented, as we said yesterday, the most likely source of food toxins. 
So it makes sense. The body would respond to these plant chemicals, these polysaccharides that are found throughout plants, by upregulating immunity, and that's exactly what happens. Fucoidin, which is the active ingredient in the fucoidin Z and the Z radical, that's one of the best of these immune boosting molecules. And fucoidin Z is wonderfully antiviral. If you're really serious about protecting yourself from viruses, whether it's the flu virus or the hepatitis virus or any other virus, herpes, or of course Ebola, which is just another virus. Use your fucoidin Z. Take three capsules in the morning and three capsules at night. One of the neat things about polysaccharides is they're non-toxic. They're completely non-toxic. And they don't cost $1,000 a pill. There's other polysaccharides that are similar to fucoidin that have antiviral and, and uh, Ebola properties. Mushrooms and aloe and noni, eggshell membrane, algae, herbs. We talked about this yesterday vegetables, fruits, these all have immune-boosting antiviral polysaccharides. And for you guys who are a part of our longevity family, we got a new one. We got a new polysaccharide. A company called Restart. Longevity bought a company called Restart. I love how Longevity is always on the lookout for good products and good companies. A la uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Fucoidin Z and the Z Radical, Jordan Rubin's products, the Beyond Organic products, and now the Restart Your Life products, the beta-glucan products from uh, Restart Your Life. I talked to Joyce Cordell, who's uh, one of the owners of the company at the Longevity Convention, wonderful lady. I'm very, very excited to be working with Restart Your Life. Beta-glucan is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. It's got all kinds of health benefits. It's got great benefits for diabetics. It can help improve blood sugar. It can help lower blood fats. It can help fight cancer. It can help protect the skin from photo damage, from wrinkles. And beta glue can has some important antiviral properties, which we'll be talking about here as we continue discussing the immune system. One of the neatest things about beta glue can is that it upregulates the effects of prostaglandins. There's a relationship between polysaccharides and prostaglandins, specifically between beta glucan and prostaglandins. This is one of beta glucan's main biochemical activities. There's scientific research that suggests that beta glucan may have protective effects against drugs that suppress prostaglandins, so called NSAIDs, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, NSAIDs like Motrin and Naproxen and Aleve. These are drugs that suppress prostaglandins in an effort to keep inflammation down. Aspirin is the same thing. Aspirin, uh, aspirin toxicity is very common. Why is aspirin toxicity so common? And why is Motrin and, and NSAID toxicity so common? Well, because you can't suppress prostaglandins without having effects on throughout the body. So this prostaglandin suppression effect that is really what gives aspirin and what gives Motrin and drugs like Motrin their benefits is the same thing that gives aspirin and Motrin and drugs like Motrin, their side effects and toxicity, and some of these side effects and toxicity are deadly. They'll kill you, all because of this prostaglandin suppression effect. Well, guess what? It turns out beta-glucan can help suppress or help protect or mitigate or alleviate some of the toxicity that's associated with prostaglandin suppression, with the prostaglandin suppression that is linked to aspirin and Motrin and Naproxen. In an article that was published in the journal Current therapeutic research, it was shown, this is from December 2010, it was shown that uh, polysaccharides in general and, and beta-glucan can reduce the damage to the digestive lining of animals that have been given regular doses of aspirin. So if you're on aspirin, if your doctor told you you got to take a daily dose of aspirin, if you're using Motrin, if you're using lots of Motrin, make sure you're using prostaglandin to help mitigate or relieve or, or reduce some of the toxicity associated with these drugs. Beta glucan is also important for the liver, which of course is a key player in immunity and detoxification and prostaglandin production too. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. Got some lines open for you. Love to hear from you. If you've got a success story you want to share, you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you just have questions about health or nutrition, we'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're in the upstate New York area or northern Pennsylvania area, uh, you may want to come down to Olean, New York next Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. I'll be doing a talk for Jonathan Smith, a certified fitness trainer. Uh, his phone number is 646-258-0148. If you want more information, give him a call, 646-258-0148. It'll be next Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. 
at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street in Olean, New York. And uh, if you want a map quest, the zip code is 14760. Hope you can make it. I'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma the next week. That's uh, the following week, the, the 20th, Monday night, the 20th. Uh, if you're interested in checking that out, you can go over to brightsideben.com. It should be posted up there. I'm not sure where exactly I'll be in Tulsa, but that'll be next Monday, the 20th. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you. We'll continue talking about beta glucan. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it in the skincare world and my skincare products for many years. It's great topically. You can open up a beta glucan capsule. You can make a mask out of it. It's great as a healer. There's a lot of literature that talks about using beta glucan gels to help accelerate the healing of wounds, post surgical wounds, burns, scrapes. If you mix it with a little chitosan or chitin, which is another polysaccharide, you can really accelerate the healing process. We'll continue talking about beta glucan tomorrow and antiviral strategies and prostaglandins. I also want to talk about zinc and zinc deficiency, which is very common, and a little bit about soil depletion, which is really common, a big, 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 big problem. If you've ever heard Dr. Wallach speak, he spends a lot of time talking about soil depletion. He's been talking about soil depletion for a long time, but really it's just getting worse and mineral deficiencies of course are a direct result of soil depletion these are all things we'll be talking about in the next in the coming days on the bright side our number today 855-660-4261 if you've got questions about health nutrition prescription drugs the longevity products we welcome your phone calls 855-660-4261 let's go off to ohio and welcome patty to the bright side good morning patty what's going on hi good morning ben good morning um I just wanted to call in because I was recently diagnosed with a lot of gallstones. Okay. And I don't want to have the surgery. What so surgery? Was... They want to take your gallbladder out? Of course. That's so friggin' rude. You know there's half a million of the gallbladders removed every year? Big, big bucks. Doctors make twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to take out one of your gallbladders. A lot of money. And no and, you know, we don't notice it because our insurance company typically pays for it, but it's a <sighs> It's awful. It's awful. Gallstones are a food issue. The gallbladder is a digestive structure. When the gallbladder is messed up, you have a digestive issue. Gallstones need to be regarded as a digestive issue. This involves toxicity. It involves the liver, food intolerances. First and foremost, well, the first thing you want to do if you have gallstones is you want to start to use nutrients that help you process fats, especially lecithin. Lecithin is a component of bile. It helps dissolve fats, get yourself on a good lecithin supplement. Some folks are sending me articles about the toxicity of lecithin. This is more stupidity in my opinion. Somebody's saying lecithin is a toxic sludge byproduct, whatever. And yes, industrially, lecithin can be produced using heavy solvents and toxins. Go for GMO lecithin and use powdered lecithin, not the liquid lecithin. And use GMO-free lecithin, I should say. And use organic lecithin. Sunflower right. lecithin is probably best. Or rice lecithin you can get. I'd be careful of soy lecithin. And use it every day, especially after fatty meals. Get yourself on the ultimate enzymes, which Dr. Wallach calls a... Uh, a gallstone dissolver in a bottle. He's right. There's bile in the ultimate enzymes. Use it after all your meals and make sure you're using some apple cider vinegar. You may want to take some extra oh, yeah. bile. You may want to take some extra bile salts with that. Look to foods that cause digestive distress and eliminate those foods. Very important that you do a food diary. You'll find that certain foods are making things worse. Usually it's something you're allergic to or have an intolerance to. Make sure you're getting enough essential fatty acids. Use the omega-3 and omega-6s in the ultimate EFAs. Personally, I'd be getting on the Healthy Star pack and doubling up on my ultimate EFA dose. And then you can take nutrients that help you build bile in addition to lecithin, which is very important for building bile, the nutrient choline, and that's spelled C-H-O-L-I-N-E. Choline can help, maybe 200 to 500 milligrams a day of choline. The uh, amino acid taurine can also be helpful for building bile, maybe 500, anywhere from 100 to 500 to 1,000 milligrams of taurine a day. You may notice that you get a little drowsy or sleepy from taurine. Taurine has a relaxing effect on the body. If that's the case, take your taurine at bedtime or divide your doses. Don't take uh, one big honking dose. Don't take a thousand milligrams of taurine all at once. Divide your doses up. You may also want to try some glycine supplements. Those are also, glycine is also a component of bile and that may also help you. So between glycine and taurine and eliminating food intolerances and food allergies and bile salts and lecithin and apple cider vinegar and ultimate enzymes, you have so, and taurine and glycine and choline, you have so many options and the ultimate EFAs. You have so many options. How 
dare a doctor sub, uh, uh, force you to go into or, or, or suggest that you have a surgical procedure where your body is hacked up and a part of your body is removed in order to prevent gallstones before he puts you on a nutritional supplement program and advises you of dietary strategies. You know, I, I say, how dare a doctor do it? Well, you know what? That's what they do. It's, we shouldn't be paying attention. You know, if you want to stay healthy, don't pay attention to your doctor, period. All right? We need to be doing our own research on how our bodies work. And if you pay attention to your doctor, just kind of listen to what he says and then do your own research. All right, and then keep and keep your organs. Don't let them carve you up, Patty. In my opinion. Oh, I won't. I won't. All right, and you know what else? One more thing. Vitamin E sometimes helps with gallstones. Four hundred international units of vitamin E. Vitamin E. All right. Four hundred IU. Listen to the archives because I gave you a ton of information. If you missed anything, and by the way, we have all the shows archived at brightsideben.com. They usually get posted a couple hours after the show is complete. So if you, you know, I, I give you a lot of information. I'd rather give you too much information than too little information. Sometimes I go fast. I do understand that, but everything is archived at brightsideben.com. Okay, Wonderful. Patty. Thank you. Yeah, God thank bless you. you. Good luck. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, Tara, what's up in North Carolina? Long time no talk to. How you doing? Hi, Ben. How's the baby? Um, How's baby Harmony? She's doing good right now. Good she's ready for a nap. But um, I have a lot to say, so I'm going to talk really fast so you can okay. go on to the next caller. Okay. First off, I want to say thank you so much for everything that you give us, you know, information. You're so re-encouraging. Thank you. Do not you. let fear overtake us, you know, and I, um, I'm really encouraged by that. Every time I listen to you, I'm like, yes, Ben. Oh, I love it. Thank you right. so much. So, That's awesome, Tara. I appreciate you that. get us on the right track. Okay. And I have a friend. Oh, no, second off. Um, I think over the summer you kind of were telling people about the Ty Bowler, Bollinger. Ty Bollinger's. That? Yes, his son, Ty yeah. Bollinger. So I just wanted to do a shout out that um, he's doing the Truth About Cancer free for this week and next week if people are keeping okay. up with that. Thank you. Do you have a web? Really do you good. have a? Do you have a link or a website that you can give out? Um, I well, didn't he, know about that. He sent out emails, so you kind of like promoted him. And, and if you join his emails, he gives reminders, and he's doing the free episodes, and they're great. They're an oh, hour, nice. um, you know, long, and it's talking about all these doctors that are helping people get on the right track, just like you. Okay. And, good deal. Um, you know what? I'll give yeah. Ty a call. I'll, I'll I'll give Ty a shout out today, or, or send him a text, and try to get that address or the email address for that. Thank you for bringing that yeah, up. Yeah, that's awesome. And then the thing about the archives, um, I noticed I have a friend who has Veritas fans, and I didn't want to have to ask you about it, but I couldn't go into the archives and look for it, like type it in, and I didn't you have time to go back. Uh, you want to talk? Let's talk a little Veritas fans. They're very easy to deal with. Uh, so, but we got to take a break, Tara. Okay, so hang on, uh, and we'll come back when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this timeout. Don't go away. On the bright side, thank you for joining us. 855-660-4261 is our number. We're on the air 8 to 9 Pacific, 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific, and 10 to 11 a.m. Central Time, five days a week. If you miss a program, they're all up at brightsideben.com. We're talking to Tara in North Carolina about varicose veins. Varicose veins, Tara, need to be considered a circulatory issue, a blood issue. And whenever you have a blood issue, that basically means something is causing the blood to become stagnant, something's causing the blood to not circulate as well as it should. And the most likely suspect, first and foremost, is going to be, excuse me, the uh, food and food intolerances. So as always, check the digestive system, work on food allergies, eliminating food toxicities, food intolerances, things that you have a problem with. You can also use digestive uh, strategies like, and you know what, I forgot to tell our last caller about the Biolumin Nightly Essence and Probiotics. Uh, I forgot her name. She's listening still, gal from uh, Patty. Patty's still listening. Uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence and Probiotics are very, very helpful for all blood, uh, for all fatty food issues and for all blood issues that are associated with problems processing food like varicose veins. So using the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Fucoidin Z, uh, the Fucoidin Z not only uh, is important for digestive health, but the Fucoidin Z is also going to be helpful for blood thinning. Uh, so using the Fucoidin Z for the digestive system and also for blood thinning and then using the Biolumin Nightly 
essence and the Beyond Organic probiotic products also for the digestive system in addition to eliminating problem foods. There's a relationship between the hormone estrogen or at least uh, how estrogen is processed in the body and the stress response in general. Uh, estrogen is a stress type hormone and then stress in general will cause the blood to get sticky and cloggy and this will contribute to stagnation, uh, uh, venous stagnation or blood circulatory stagnation and that will make varicose veins worse. So if uh, it's a, somebody who's got uh, uh, who's just had a baby or has some kind of estrogen or female hormone issues, there's some strategies there using the, pro, uh, the uh, well, using the Biolumin Nightly Essence can help with all estrogen issues, but using the Ultimate EFAs is very important for all estrogen female hormone issues. Get on the Ultimate EFAs and get on the whole Healthy Start Pack because magnesium is also important for the blood and also important for estrogen, about 1,000 milligrams or to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day and maybe 9 to 18 capsules of the ultimate essential fatty acids. Using vitamin A and E can also have some benefits. E is a natural blood thinner, and vitamin A can counteract or can balance out estrogen. And so can progesterone cream. That might be something else that they want to, your friend wants to think about when it comes to uh, varicose veins. And last but most certainly not least, relaxing and activating the, the relaxation nervous system through deep breathing, hot tubs, water, massage. Uh, those can all have beneficial effects on thinning the blood and improving varicose veins, improving circulation and then improving varicose veins. And then last but not least, I know I said that already, but one more thing is getting on, uh, doing some exercise, getting on a treadmill or moving your body around. That can also help pump blood through the bottom of the body and uh, improve circulation and improve varicose veins. Okay? Okay, thanks. Thank you, Tara. Um, yes? Can I ask, when will you be coming to North Carolina to do a talk? Uh, I don't know. you got to invite me. Am I invited? Are you inviting me? I don't know how to make a uh, make it happen. Yeah, Give me a call. Shoot me, shoot me an email or uh, with, put your phone number and I'll call you back. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Tara. Bye-bye. Okay, Carol in Washington, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Is that me? That would be you. What's cooking? Oh, good. Okay, you you ha you said something about an uh, acne website and I could not catch it. I think you even said it three times. I don't think Where I said do I find that. I'm doing that today. I no, I'm doing videos, uh, YouTube videos on acne. I forgot to mention that today. Uh, my friend Amanda and I, we do YouTube videos once a week. We cover various subjects, usually around the skin, and, and usually it has some kind of connection to longevity, not always. Uh, the, the latest series of videos that we're doing, we started last week and, and we're doing one today, is on acne, the seven different types of acne. The biggest problem that I've discovered in dealing with acne, and I've been dealing with acne from a, from a therapist p uh, position for 30 years, since the early 80s, what I've discovered is that there's no such thing as acne. Acne is just a word. There's various biochemical breakdowns that show up as zits on the skin, and we call them all acne. We label them all acne, and there's some insidious reasons why we do that, basically so we can sell your products, so, so medical professionals can sell your products. They say, oh, zits on the skin, you have acne, you need this cream. Oh, zits on the skin, you have acne, you need this antibiotic. But it doesn't work like that because there's different biochemical breakdowns associated with acne. In fact, there's seven different types of acne, and there's seven different types of biochemical breakdowns that cause, uh, cause acne-like lesions, and you've got to understand which one of those biochemical breakdowns you're dealing with if you're going to correct acne, and that's what we're doing uh, on these videos. And so if you want to be put How on the email list, them? well, you can Google the pharmacist, Ben, uh, well, you know what? Why don't you send me an email, and then uh, uh, I'll reply back. Uh, I'll send. I'll put you on the email list, and you'll get notified of all the videos. And then when you get notified of them, you'll get all the past videos. We must have done about ten or fifteen of them already. Um, and you'll get. Uh, we'll put you on the list, and you'll see all the videos we've done. So okay, shoot me an email. You, shoot me an email. Me? Ben. Ben at ksco. dot com. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Ksco. Ben dot. at ksco. Uh, my main question was uh, uh, vit vitiligo, vit vitiligo, 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 vitiligo on yes. on. That's a discoloration, lightning on yeah. the hands. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. That's that's an autoimmune disease. It's no different than arthritis, than rheumatoid arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, or myasthenia gravis, or type one diabetes, or, or any of you name it. There's there's 80 or 90, maybe even 100 different autoimmune diseases. They're all the same. They show up in different parts of the body, but that doesn't matter. Autoimmune diseases are the body attacking a part of itself. They're a, f a friendly fire of the immune system. The body attacks itself. And it doesn't matter if it's in the hands or the pancreas or the nerves or anywhere else. The fact is the immune system is jacked up 80% or more. 
of the immune system is located in the digestive tract. That means if you have an immune system, the odds are very, very good. The odds are pretty much 100% that you have a digestive problem, and vitiligo is no different. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases need to be considered as first and foremost digestive issues. So if somebody has vitiligo, do the whole food diary thing that we always talk about. Look for problem foods and eliminate them. If you have a problem finding what your problem foods are, Go by your stools, by your, by your bowel movements, go by gas and bloating and heartburn and eliminate foods that cause any digestive distress. That's job number one. Job number two is make sure you're using supplements and nutrients that help support, that help support digestive health. The probiotics, the bioluminitely essence, and the Beyond Organic products are a must-have for anybody dealing with vitiligo. Same with the ultimate enzymes and same with apple cider vinegar after all your meals. Uh, if you want to throw in a couple other things for digestive support, you can use some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts. Uh, you can use um, uh, uh, fermented foods. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation. That can help support digestive health. Focus on the digestive system. The next thing you want to do for vitiligo or any autoimmune disease, any autoimmune issue, is start to support the, the, excuse me, the immune system. And we've been talking all week and last week about how you do that using nutritional supplements. The Fucoidin Z is a wonderful immune booster. The new Restart products and Beta Glucan, those are immune boosters. Get yourself on what 50. What was that, Z? Fucoidin Z. F as in Frank, U C. O-I-D-A-N, Fucoidin Z. Vitamin C is a must-have for all immune issues. The ultimate selenium from Longevity is a must-have for all immune issues. And, of course, 50 milligrams of zinc is also a must-have for all immune issues. Here's a little clue for you. There's a relationship between gluten intolerance and vitiligo, which should come as no surprise to anybody who knows anything about gluten. So focus on the digestive system, number one. Focus on food, number two, for vitiligo or any other autoimmune issue. That's my take on autoimmunity. Okay, got it. I want to take one more call. Okay, Carol, thanks Thank so much. God bless. Okay, Steve in Oregon, welcome to the bright side. What's up, buddy? Steven, do we have Steve? Steve? Steve, Steve, going once, going twice. Yeah. Steve, what's up, ma'am? How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, um, got a question about BTT and gluten. Yes, is, what's your question? Is, is it um, gluten free? Yes. Is uh, BTT is gluten free? Yes. It is. is your, huh? th yes. Is that your question? Uh, that and um, I crashed my bike last night. I was wondering about um, traumatic healing. Yes. Get on the ultimate enzymes. Use, uh, take them on an empty stomach. The ultimate enzymes are wonderful for accelerating the healing of all kinds of bruises, post-surgical bruises, trauma bruises. You get a black eye, you get punched in the eye, whatever. Use the ultimate enzymes. You can also use the glucogel caps. And by the way, the glucogel caps, I should, should have mentioned it to uh, Carol and Patty, uh, they're also good for your digestive system as well. But the glucogel caps can help accelerate healing from wounds. And then... Uh, if you have a superficial wound or a skin type of wound, you can use topical vitamin C. In fact, if you send me an email, ben at ksco.com, uh, if you have a wound of some kind, I'll send you out some, uh, some a free sample of my topical uh, omega-6 healing cream that's loaded with vitamin C. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate your call. Thank you to all our callers and all my letter writers. I appreciate all the love very much. If you're in the Olean, New York area, please come see me. Uh, me and my friend Jonathan Smith, certified health trainer, next Tuesday, October 21st, Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street, Olean, New York, zip code 14760. Jonathan's number 646-258-0148 if you want more information. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.